the critical findings were this was really a phase one two study so it was essentially a dose and safety study and the first thing we met all our primary endpoints on safety which was fantastic uh, but we also found some intriguing and exciting uh, early indicators that uh, survival ventilator free days uh, and ICU free days may also have a positive trend. The really exciting bit is we've predefined a more severe group of ARDS and in there the trends were reinforced and indeed the ventilator free days, the ICU free days and the mortality was a little more explicit. However, got to remember it's a small study and really was a dose finding and safety study primarily. So this is really important. Uh, ARDS mortalities come down nicely. It was 90% when I was first training in critical care. It's come down to 30 to 40%, but it's really stuck at that level for quite a while. So the improved care we're giving, the improved support we're giving has done marvels. The low tidal volume ventilation has helped. But apart from low tidal volume and maybe prone, we haven't got a new treatment for ARDS and the issue is we've tried many many single bullet the you know the magic bullet to hit this pathway or that pathway and we've not really achieved that point about stem cells is they broad they're pleiotropic they will affect regeneration repair they'll move your macrophages from a, uh, an M1 to an M2 phenotype they may promote angiogenesis they may do uh, a variety of actions and that's exactly what ARDS is, it's a heterogeneous condition and probably needs a variety of actions. So the excitement is we may have a broad, a broad treatment for a heterogeneous condition. Good work in animal models to understand that the model should work. Uh, good work in large animal models to understand the doses are okay. Good work in human uh, ex vivo lung preparations to confirm that but we now need to move into patients. The first issue with patients you're giving maybe 900 million cells into the bloodstream they float through the lungs are you giving 900 million pulmonary emboli so we had to make sure that it was safe and the study was designed primarily to look at the first four hours of safety and it passed all of that with flying colors the excitement was then the 28 day and we'll see what happens at 90 and 360.